Does the thought of your next big adventure give you an itch in your boots? Or are you one of those people with a zeal for adventure? Imagine what a 10,800 kilometer long scenic drive through inland Africa will be like. Hello besties and welcome to another interesting and insightful video. Most people will go on one or two road trips in their lifetime. There are different routes to travel across Africa, some leaping borders into different countries. The experience alone is enough to leave you amazed and fully immersed in the culture while raking up plenty of miles along the way. Spanning a distance of 10,808 kilometers, the Trans-African Highway 3 is one of the longest road infrastructure projects in Africa. It is a dream project conceived by the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa 40 years ago. Essentially, a web of advanced road networks, this ambitious project will pass through many African countries. This Pan-African road project belongs to the ambitious Trans-African Highway Network, which includes the Cairo-Dakar, Algiers-Lagos Trans-African Highway, as well as the dakar Jemena, Lagos-Mombasa, and the Biera-Lobito Corridor. Our focus today is on the tripoli Ventuk Highway, as it is formerly known. It is renamed to the Tripoli Cape Town Highway and its main aim is to serve as a link between north and southern parts of Africa with a further extension of the Cairo to Cape Town route. The Tripoli Cape Town Highway is divided in three sections, the northern, central and southern. The northern section is not high priority in its regional block between Tripoli and N'Djemena. This is because it appears to have a missing link for which the Trans-Saharan Highway further west will probably find more usage because of the links to the Niger connection with the Trans-Saharan Highway. Its central section runs between Northern Angola and Cameroon, which is most needed because it will promote the first paved link between West African and Southern African region. A missing link is also observed in the Republic of Congo at the Shanga River into the Central African Republic as well as Cameroon. For this, an alternative alignment for the road has been proposed between Yaoundé, Cameroon, Brazzaville and the Republic of Congo, which will do more to facilitate road transport. The southern section between the Democratic Republic of Congo and Cape Town, on the other hand, is an important regional road in SADC. Paving of existing road is required in northern Angola, but from Gange through Angola to Namibia's B1 Road and South Africa's N7 Highway to Cape Town is fully paved and these roads are in relative good condition. As a rapid developing continent, Cooperation is fundamental in overseeing the success of this project, involving collaboration from nine African countries and their development partners. The route passes through Libya in the furthest north, Chad, Cameroon, 
Central African Republic, Republic of Congo, the western tip of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Angola, Namibia, down to South Africa in the further south. Now an 8 billion investment through the African Development Bank is driving the goal of a connected continent. This investment was made easier by the intergovernmental concord amongst African countries ahead of its expected completion by the year 2030. When companies calculate their price of doing business on the continent, they look at figures such as the cost of transportation. African governments have to balance the use of scarce resources between immediate needs and the maintenance of degraded roads. This led to the halt in the progress of building the road network infrastructure project on several occasions due to the diversity of its terrain, lack of funding and political unrest in some parts of the continent. Many years later, some roads remain incomplete with some significant missing links. Today, road infrastructure remains priority with governments identifying the need to revive the project. The proposed areas of improvement include the standard construction of routes that needs to be harmonized thus creating an equal road quality as well as maintenance of degraded roads. The Tripoli Cape Town route will create land connectivity and reduce the time it took for farmers to deliver their goods to the market. Accessibility and convenience is part of the goal to promote business and investment with the hopes that the continent become an integrated trade bloc. With this, we are positive that with the completion of the 10,808km Trans-African Highway 3, we will continue to see a rapid extension of the continent's transit, cargo and railway networks. We hope that this is enough to fulfill your adventurous and business appetite. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more of these kinds of video, do well to subscribe and ring the bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. Goodbye besties.